Hi, Colin here. Been a while. Been a long while. Been a long, 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 long while. I'm back. Been doing things. What have I been doing? Gun buying. Yep. Gun buying. Still haven't done the gun video yet. Planning on doing it. Um, just, this is a pipe video. Yeah, been a while. Found a new pipe maker. I really like this guy on Facebook by the name of Irish Briar. His name's probably not that, but that's what he goes by on the interwebs. I think he has an actual name. If I figure out what it is, I'll tell you at some point. So, two pipes from him. This in here. Nice rustication. Even though I hate that word, but I think it's the appropriate word. All of his pipes have pretty cool uh, Gaelic names. See the shamrock there? Irish Briar. Get it? I don't remember the names of these. This was Tall Sales, I think, so maybe I'm right on that. I really don't know what this one was called. I like this one as well. Let me tell you, if you want a very well-priced pipe that's nice and classic looking, classical, classic, one of the two of those, uh, sales all the time, smokes like a charm, uh, this is your guy. Irish Briar, check him out on Facebook. I've gotten two so far. He has giveaways. He has sales all the time. Seems like a pretty class act. Guy trying to make his way in the business. Uh, and so I support him and give him a look. He's got some cool stuff. Um, I've smoked both of these. They smoke very well. My only slight grievance on this one, if you can see that, is there's some gapping there. Uh, between the stem and the tenon, I've been working on it to try and tighten it a little bit. It so far hasn't managed to do it, but this thing smokes like a dream, and it's damn pretty and classic, and I like it. So, Irish Briar, check him out. I had my first troller, my first real troller, not just somebody being like, I don't like what you said, so I'm going to thumbs down you or, you know, bad video. I mean, like somebody that was like a dick. Um, obviously a troller for the sake of trolling came on a while ago and on my last video and put a bunch of crap about, you know, typical American and, you know, you guys killed Indians and like, I was like, get off my shit. Um, and I was, I wasn't dicky to him, you know, I was like the first one I was like, okay, dude. Then he came back again. So I was like, man, eh, I'll get rid of this. And so I got rid of it. I don't care really, but I don't want that shit on my videos, so I took it off. Boxes. Got them. Haven't ordered tobaccos in a while, or haven't ordered any bulk amounts of tobaccos in a while. Um, had a hankering recently. Um, I don't know if the election pushed me. Um, it has certainly gotten me to do some things that turned out to be wrong or unnecessary, I guess, based on the outcome of the election. I'm not getting political. I'm sure I've got two thumbs down from just saying that. I'm not going to get political. Um, so I sent out some orders. This one particular one is from Pipes and Cigars. Now, there's some back orders on this. Interesting for me. Um, let's start from the top. Murray's Cunningham. Most of the tobaccos in this order, this order and the next order I'm going to show you, the, the tobaccos I just thought were kind of neat. They're remakes of old classics, so I thought I'd give them a shot. 1862 Whitehall from Murray's. I thought I ordered two of those. Maybe I did. Uh, push these aside. Uh, oh, I did. There's another Whitehall. One to smoke, one to store, though. As much tobacco as I've got right now, it might take me a while. There's my other Cunningham. I just think they're cool. Recreations of old stuff. Now, I know some guys are going to get on and say, well, they're not the same. I don't disagree with you, but I don't have, I've never tried the old ones. I have no frame of reference, and I'm a nostalgic kind of guy, so I thought I'd give them a shot. And so I, I ordered them. Um, and then these came out. So I ordered these, a couple of each. Warhorse Bar. I believe they're calling this the red version. Or the original bar. I have the original Warhorse. I haven't smoked that yet. And Warhorse Green. I got two of it. I love that sound. Don't you love that sound? I can make a video of me for like 20 minutes just doing this and love it. So I got three of the original Warhorse Bar, two of the greens, because I have a feeling I'm going to probably like the original more, but those are heavy, heavy Nico tobaccos, as most bars are. Then I went out on a limb. I don't know why. 
arrows. That one, Gettysburg, it's peach. I love peaches. I'm not an arrow guy. This is reasonably priced and I wanted something different. So I'm not an arrow guy at all, but I, I'm a Civil War buff, or War of Northern Aggression, whatever you want to call it. Another thumbs down. Got this one. The first one I bought, this was actually second to, the first one I got, this just sounded fascinating to me, Appalachian Berry uh, from Old Shenandoah. Arrows, I got two of these, not entirely sure why, but they were really cheap. Uh, so I got them. And so I'm going to try some arrows just to mix it up a little bit. I had some back order ones. I got the other Murrays that uh, Pipes and Cigars has, but they're back ordered. The Belfast, and I can't remember what the other one was. So those will come in at some point. Now here's the real deal. I'm not sure I can even get this up on the table. This is from Smoking Pipes. Maybe if I move my current construction project, my, my seal, it'll get done eventually once I find some free time with all the free time that I have. Um, this one is from Smoky Pipes. Now, it's a big box. This one is purely a, I was fascinated by it. These ones. My phone's shaking, sorry. I shouldn't be doing this on the table. These just fascinated me. And so I missed them the first time they came out. They sold out with lightning speed. So when they came back, most of them came back in 200 gram tins, I jumped on it. And so I got a lot of it. Not a lot. I got two tins or one tin of each, depending on what size I had to get. This is the Drukor and Sons. I'm probably mispronouncing that. Drukor? Drukor? Not Drukar. Remember that? That cologne in the, in the 80s and early 90s smelled like olive juice? Yeah, I wore it. So this one is Ends of Court. As a lawyer, how could I resist that? Now, I say that, but I ordered pretty much the whole line. I got two of these. So the other one's in here somewhere. There's the other one. I had to get 100 gram because they didn't have the 200 gram of this. Unfortunately, it cost more, but they were sold out. Next up, uh, Levant Mixture. Now, these are all, I think, for the most part, varying Englishes. Um, there's going to be another one of these in here. Yep, there it is. Levant Mixture. I had to get 100 gram tins of these. So... Again, I paid more. I also got Trafalgar. If you haven't read of the Battle of Trafalgar, you should read it if you get a chance. As a side note, pretty cool story. Pretty fascinating story. Um, I got two of that. Again, I had to buy hundreds. I wanted 200. Next up, Blair Gowry. Might have gotten two of these at 200 because I saw some reviews of this and said it was really good. But there's that. Another one. Ah, Red Lion. 200 grams. Had that one. Bought it. See, I didn't figure I needed two of these because with 200 grams I could smoke some and store some. And so I did. And The Devil's Own. I believe this is a, or was, or is a... San Francisco tobacco shop that had took, took, had took, had taken, took from uh, maybe a European tobacco shop, but that closed down and then we opened one. Not we, because I had nothing to do with it other than buying those tins uh, in San Francisco. And I believe that Greg Pease, somebody's going to correct me if and when I'm wrong, and I'm willing to be wrong. I've been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. I believe Greg Pease worked there for some period of time during his learning of uh, tobacco blending of which he is now pretty much a master. So those are my orders. I got some tobacco. I bought a few pipes. Wanted to show them to you. What else is going on? Election's over. Yay. Uh, other things going on. Guns. A lot of gun time right now for me. I'm still smoking my pipes daily. Obviously I'm still ordering tobaccos and Risking life and limb at home for spending money on tobaccos. Um, though my carts are now empty uh, at my tobacco shops, of which I've just reduced my number of shopping at tobacco shops by one. Uh, I will never buy from Four Noggins again, ever. Uh, I won't go into it. I'm sure you guys, if you're interested, can do some interwebs research and find out. They will not get a penny of my business ever again. I'm not telling anyone else to do that. I'm saying it's a personal preference. I will not buy from them. 
So I'm still on the hunt for that elusive sack of Stonehaven and tin of Stonehaven so I can smoke the tin and store the bag. I'll find it, and it's kind of fun looking. Um, still buying new pipes, still smoking, still enjoying myself, still enjoying your videos. I want you to keep your videos coming. We continue to lose participants uh, in the YouTube pipe community, though some people are still posting up, and I enjoy all of you that still are, and I miss those of you who still aren't. And that's it for me. So I hope you've enjoyed. You've seen some tobaccos. Irish Briar, Facebook, check them out. Wise Pipes, you will not regret it. Puts out a few every couple of days. Any more things from me? I'll be back at some point, and I'm going to get that gun video up someday. Maybe Trolley McTrollerson will come back and shit on my video again. Everybody loves that. Thanks a lot. See ya.